What's up guys, this is Mohamed, and this is a quick video about the Mavic Air 2. I want to see if the HDR mode is actually giving you more dynamic range, and if you expose the decent elect mode correctly, can you get the same dynamic range? First off, I have to explain why I'm doing this comparison. Well, the reason is simple. 4K HDR mode is limited to 30 frames per second, so if you want to shoot in 4K 60, you have to use either the standard or the decent alike picture profiles. Let's dive in. I'm going to use decent alike since it's more flat and it's more gradable. And you cannot change anything about the picture profiles like its contrast or saturation, so just keep that in mind. First, let's take a look at these clips without any further grade on them. Now I'm going to grade the decent alike footage and try and get it as close as possible to the HDR footage. And as you can see, the HDR mode still has a bit more dynamic range. I can mess with the decent alike footage even more and get it to match the HDR footage, but since it's only 8 bits, it will fall apart. I mean, look at that banding, it's nasty. Same deal with these shots here. I think I've matched them pretty close, but HDR still maintains more dynamic range in my eyes. This might be why DJI didn't give us D-Log on this drone, its 8-bit footage falls apart rather quickly. So even though you can match the decent alike mode's dynamic range to that of the HDR, your footage is gonna fall apart and look nasty. And before you ask, no, the HDR mode is not secretly 10 bits like the Panasonic S cameras. I checked. In conclusion, the HDR is definitely giving you more dynamic range. If this drone was able to shoot 10 bits and you could change the picture profile settings for the decent alike mode, you could get it to match the HDR, but as it stands, you cannot push the grade too far. And therefore, you cannot match decent alike mode to HDR. Now you definitely can grade the HDR footage by first turning it into log and grading it after that, but you will be deteriorating the image, so proceed with caution. So thank you for tuning in to this video, I hope you liked it and found it informative, please leave a like on this video, let us know what you think in the comments, go back and watch all my other videos, including my first impressions of the Mavic Air 2 and the update that came out for it, and subscribe to my channel. Till next time.